I think the ayahuasca just gave him some Dutch courage. It's just like, this is my opportunity because those that discover Bitcoin become so evangelical about it because it's like, I had no idea the world, you know, what happened to make the world so bad. And I've now figured out what the problem is. And I know Bitcoin is the solution and everyone needs to know about it. But then you come up against this brick wall of people who've just been trained to see the world completely differently. And you realize that until they come up against some hard knocks in life, they're not even going to be motivated to understand it. They're relying on the fact they've spent thousands on their education. So what they've been taught at university must be right. Um, and, uh, you know, until they learn for themselves through the school of hard knocks, it's unlikely that someone just giving a speech uh, when they graduate is going to change their mind. So I'm not surprised really, but it just goes to show how early we are still. I think one of the interesting things about when people get converted into Bitcoin is like you say, Victoria, it really is a religious conversion where all of a sudden these ideas we were talking about earlier, is Bitcoin a security? Is it a commodity? Is it a currency? It's all of these things. And similar to the three gods in one of Christianity, uh, once you take this holistic approach where you know it's a Swiss army knife, you could pull out whatever tool you need. And I think Michael Saylor is struggling with this right now with the whole, it's only digital gold. I find digital gold to be useful. It's only digital gold. Roger Veer had the same thing, but it was different for him. It's only a currency. I use it for my businesses and my businesses have too many UTXOs and I need to combine them together and that's expensive and big blocks would lead to better use for my businesses, my purposes. In the same way for Sailor, ossifying, ossification, keeping the software hard, never allowing to change is good for his digital gold theory. Uh, everyone gets into this, and I imagine, like we're saying, this this college student with his ayahuasca probably got a religious conversion into Bitcoin where he saw all of the possibilities and all of the things, especially like you say, Victoria, with business that he could do with this, the options that he could offer to his customers, the things that they could buy, the complex financial products and the things we could do, even just sending money to a QR code over the governments, over the oceans, over the Internet. Uh, probably blew his mind and got him exciting. I think it's disappointing, though, that we're not cool on college campuses. Everyone in the media needs to wake up and realize that Matt Damon crypto.com commercial was right. You should have bought. They're all up now. They're all up. Everybody from the original crypto.com commercials up. The new one with Eminem, who could be cooler than Eminem? Uh, fantastic. And we're just keeping going forward here. This This keeps happening. They keep having these setbacks. And then they're like, oh, yeah, Bitcoin's still there. And they say, what's the price?